Hi, this is Emma from Centerhood Inn and this is Animal Magic. This is me just very quickly coming on today just to talk to you about in life when there's an ebb and there's a flow. So when there's an ebb, you may be feeling off, upset, sad, angry, whatever you're feeling. Now, in those moments, when you have your beautiful animal next to you, with you, or you're spending time with your animal, instead of sort of thinking about something else, and I know you've got to do the daily, 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 daily routines, so do those, but set aside five, if not ten minutes of truly being with your animal. When you're stroking them, you're feeling that connection, you're feeling the warmth of the love, you're just feeling it from you and going to them and back from them going to you. Feel how that connection, what it does for your nervous system, what it does for your heart, what it does to your breath. Say that you're so grateful for the connection that you have. Ask them if there's anything they need from you. You may not hear the answer straight away, but the more you do it, the more you'll start to hear or feel something. But maybe bring that into the practice you have with your animal, that you find a way to build in a time to connect with your animal. This is not saying that you don't love your animal at all, it's the connection. And it's truly being present with your animal, being present in that moment. It's you and your animal and nothing else. Forget about what you need to do, what you haven't done or the argument or whatever it is. You may feel like you want to cry. Well, allow those tears to flow. You may just feel that warmthness in you. Just allow that feeling. You may feel something different. You may hear something different. Allow these things to flow. Because you do have a connection with your animal and you know and you see it, but there's a depth, there's a greater depth and they're trying to connect in with you so much more now. Because it's almost like, like that a lot of the time. And they need you as much as you need them. And they're seeing, feeling, sensing so much. And sometimes they're trying to get you to take notice of something as well. And you do, but sometimes it's just afterwards. But when you're really in that ebb, and it will change, you will go through to the flow. Maybe spend some time connecting with your animal and then build that into your practice. Build it into your daily routine or just when you are connecting, truly connect. Don't think about what you've got to do, what you haven't done. Because you're physically there, but your energy, you are elsewhere. So there's a disconnect, there's a separation. And your animal can feel it. I mean, they love you being physically with them. But they know there's a separation, a disconnect. Animals are intuitive. They feel so much, they know so much. But it's just on a different different way than what you are maybe feeding into and part of what I do and part of what my gift is is seeing that that connection I hear the messages of the animals and what they're trying to say to you I hear what they're trying to say what they're trying to say about you I see the connection between the two of you I feel the connection between the two of you I hear the messages of what they're trying to say about themselves. Like, don't worry about this or maybe try this. This is part of what I do as an animal healer. Connecting with the, the owners and the animals. And my work is, is beyond animal healing. It's the connection between the two, it's the communication. I am the go between the interpreter, the for whatever name you want to call intermediary. Because I can hear what's going on, I can see what's going on. 
and I want to pass on the message. That's what I'm here to do, to pass on the message and also help with the connection so the messages can go back and forward with greater ease. But when you're in that ebb, feel into that connection physically, emotionally, mentally. What does it feel like? What can you sense? Keep doing it and something more will come out and something more will come out and something more will come out. I'm just seeing if there's anything else that needs to come through. No, I think that's it. I'm sending you so much love.